Hey guys, how's it going this fine morning? Pretty dance well if you'd ask me. But the bigger question is, are you nervous for your evaluation duel? Wait, Navy's having an evaluation duel? Why did no one tell me about this? Because you didn't read any messages in the group chat because you were out pranking people. Again. Guys as fun as it is to bicker amongst ourselves, this is a big moment for Navy here. This decides if our fucking best friend can finally become a magician's purple after being a stardust blue for years. That is true. This duel will decide if Navy will stop having to walk all the way from the stardust blue dorm to the magician's purple one. This'll be a piece of cake for you, Navy. We all know how good you are. I wouldn't be so absolutely certain of that. Did you not see who she's facing for this evaluation duel? That David talk prick. Oh come on Elias you know how Taki likes to roll during duels. He will probably be too busy gawking at his own reflection to even pay attention to the duel if we're keeping it 100% honest here. Still, it's probably not a good idea to underestimate David. He may be so full of himself that Narcissus would be jealous of him, but his skills as a duelist are great enough that he can back up that confidence. Do you have a solid plan against him Navy? I do, actually. I know what all his deck can do, and as long as I can anticipate what he wants to do, I'm sure I can plan ahead far enough for me to be able to land the win. My deck can go in just about any direction and move into any game plan after all. Attention all students of Phoenix University. Please head to the dueling arena immediately. The graduation duels begin in 30 minutes. I repeat. Attention all students of Phoenix University. Please head to the dueling arena immediately. The graduation duels begin in 30 minutes. Well then let's not waste any more time. We'll be cheering for you Navy. Kick David talks ass, Navy. Welcome all students of Phoenix University to the annual evaluation duel. The terms for this are very simple. A student on the verge of being able to graduate duels a student from the dorm that they can graduate to, if they win, they get to move up to the next dorm, and if they lose, they either stay in their dorm or if they performed super poorly they move a dorm down. Now let's not waste any time and get on with the first duel. Up first, you know him, you probably hate him, he's one of the best students in the Magician's Purple Dorm. David Tock. And his challenger. The rising star from the Stardust Blue Dorm. The pop idol sensation. Navy Leilani. So you're the Stardust Blue loser I'm supposed to squash the hopes and dreams of. Hump. Fine with me. You shall rue the day you dared to challenge the great and powerful David Top. You sure talk a lot, but let's see if you can actually walk the walk. Time to put your deck where your mouth is, David. Get set to get decked. Fine then. Get your game on. Let's Let duel. Since I'm in a higher ranked door, I will make the first move. I draw. Oh this hand is absolutely perfect. I'll start by normal summoning my clockwork gadget. Using his effect I will add one clockwork monster from my deck to my hand. Next, since I control a clockwork monster I can special summon my clockwork beetle. Now, by revealing my clockwork wyvern in my hand, I can special summon my clockwork golem. Now, I will use my beetle's effect. By tributing my clockwork gadget, I can draw a card and reveal it, and if the card I revealed is a clockwork monster, I can add a polymerization or a clockwork spell or track from my deck to my hand. Perfect. Next, 
since I control a clockwork monster, I can special summon clockwork Wyvern from my hand, and I'll use his effect to add power bonds to my hand. Now, I'll activate polymerization. Now, I'll fuse together my clockwork beetle, Wyvern, and turtle. With these three monsters, I create the perfect unity of steampunk machinery. Descend onto the battlefield and victory shall come to us like clockwork. I fusion summon, clockwork dragon. Since Clockwork Turtle was used as a fusion material I can draw one card. Next I will use my Golem's special ability, allowing me to resurrect my Clockwork Gadget with its effects negated. Next, I'll use the spell card Power Bond. I fuse together my Clockwork Dragon with my Clockwork Gadget. With this flux of power, I create and bring forth the ultimate life form. Mechanical Dragon made of solid gold descend onto this battlefield and turn the world into the machine utopia you desire. I fusion summon Clockwork Paradox Dragon. Now, not only is Clockwork Paradox Dragon's attack doubled thanks to Power Bond, but he also gains 500 attack points for each Clockwork monster in my graveyard. I shall now use Paradox Dragon's special ability, allowing me to equip Clockwork Dragon to it from my graveyard, and thus, my Paradox Dragon gains Dragon's effects. Next. I will activate another polymerization. Fusing together Clockwork Golem with the Clockwork Knight in my hand. I fusion summon. Clockwork Prince. Now, I'll use Prince's special ability, allowing me to dump a fusion spell from my deck to replicate its effects. I'll banish my Clockwork Polymer, and so, I special summon Clockwork Coffee Pot, and my Coffee Pot gets fused with my Prince. With these two monsters I fusion summon. His Highness. Clockwork King. Since Coffee Pot was used as a fusion material, I can add a Clockwork spell or track from my deck to my hand. Finally, I'll set two cards face down, and that will end my turn, Peasant. Oh, and thanks to Paradox Dragon, the damage I would take from Power Bond is hard. Make your move. I draw. First, I'll activate the Field Spell card, Drizzle Idol Venue. When it is activated, I can add a Drizzle Idol card from my deck to my hand. Next, by banishing a card from my deck, I can special summon the Tuna Monster, Drizzle Idol, Riviere. Using her effect, I can add a Drizzle Idol card from my deck to my hand, and now, Drizzle Idol, Nikita's effect activates from my Banish Zone. Since a Sea Serpent was summoned while she was in the Banish Zone, I can special summon her. Now, I'll tune together Riviere and Nikita. Synchro Summon. Level 6. Drizzle Idol, Fleur. Now I'll use Fleur's effect. By banishing two cards from my deck, I can send one monster you control to the graveyard, so Paradox Dragon goes bye-bye. Sorry but you won't. I activate my Paradox Dragon's special ability. By paying 500 of my life points, I can activate a trap card from my hand, so I'll activate Clockwork Leapback. This will negate your Little Mermaid's effect and destroy her. And as a little bonus, I gain a thousand life points. Honestly, Dave, I should thank you for doing that. Since now, I can go off without any problems. Huh. What do you mean? Let's crack on with it. I normal summon Deep Sea Diva. Using her effect, I'll special summon Atlantean Heavy Infantry from my deck. Thanks to my infantry, I can normal summon an additional Sea Serpent monster. So I'll extra normal summon Drizzle Idol, Nika. Now. I'll tune together Nika with Deep Sea Diva. Synchro Summon. Level 4. Drizzle Idol, Kali. Now, by banishing a card from my deck, I can special summon Drizzle Idol, Shizuku, and she will let me resurrect Drizzle Idol, Nikita from my banished zone. Now, I tune together my infantry, Nikita, and Shizuku. Synchro Summon. Level 7. Drizzle Idol, Olivia. Now, I'll use Olivia's special ability. By banishing a card from my hand, I can banish the Clockwork Paradox Dragon on your field, and the Clockwork Turtle in your graveyard. And as a cherry on top, I can banish the top card of my deck. I won't let you. I activate my track card Clockwork Collection. By sacrificing my Paradox Dragon, I can draw two cards. And since the monster I sacrificed was a fusion monster, make that three. Fine then, but your turtle is still banished. All right. Next, I'll use the effect of Drizzle Idol Jewel in my Banish Zone, by sending it to my graveyard. 
I can add 2 sea serpent monsters with 1500 or less attack in my banish zone to my hand. And in case you didn't know, Toki, my field spell banishes any card that is sent to my graveyard. Now, I'll use the effect of Drizzle Idol Chorus in my banish zone. By sending it to my graveyard, I can add a Drizzle Idol card from my deck straight to my hand, at the cost of then banishing a card out of my hand. Now, I'll activate the Drizzle Idol Jewel in my hand. I'll add Drizzle Idol, flow back into my extra deck, and then, I'll put Drizzle Idol Climax face up in my spell or trap zone. Now, I'll use Climax's special ability, by shuffling two of my banished cards into my deck. I can target one card you control and destroy it, so say goodbye to your king. Not so fast. I'll use king's special ability. I can return my clockwork dragon from my graveyard into my extra deck, and by doing so, I can banish Olivia. Big mistake. When Olivia is destroyed or banished by a card effect, her effect activates. So I can resurrect two Drizzle Idol monsters from my banish zone. I bring back Nikito and Shizuku. Now, I'll tune together Nikito and Shizuku. Synchro Summon. Level 5. Drizzle Idol, Sylvia. And now, Battle. Kali. Sylvia. Attack David Tok directly. End this duel. As long as Drizzle Idol. Sylvia is on the field. If there is a Drizzle Idol Synchro Monster in your Banish Zone and another face-up Drizzle Idol Monster on your side of the field, your opponent cannot activate card effects from the graveyard or special summon monsters from the graveyard. Wait what? How? How could I lose? My deck is the most up-to-date deck there is. It's simple, really. You underestimated me because I am, or should I say, was, a Stardust Blue. Maybe in the future, try not to underestimate your opponents so much. You know, Navy. Taking an extended break from school to go on this little cruise was a great idea. I've never felt so refreshed and ready to head back to class. Xander actually being excited to go to school for once. Wow, this cruise really did change him. Are we sure it's not the seasickness? Oh shut it Captain Prude. You were the one that spent the whole cruise brooding and not even dipping your toes in the pool. I don't wanna hear anything from you. Guys, calm down. We're gonna set sail back to Phoenix University tonight, so we still have some time to enjoy to ourselves. Asriel is right. We should be enjoying the time we have before we set sail back to Phoenix University. I also can't wait to greet the winners of the Lancer Tournament. Guys, look at the news. Huh? What's going on? This is Nicole Smith reporting live from Battle City News. It is a sad day today in the pendulum dimension as the prestigious Jewel Academy, Phoenix University, was blown to smithereens due to a terrorist attack caused by an unknown terrorist group called the Organization of the Forgotten. The motivation behind the explosion or this group's goals as a whole are still unsure, but the Lancers have promised to keep us informed. In the meantime, in about three hours we will hold a memorial for all the students that died in the explosion. We mourn their loss and grief with their families. Phoenix University blew up? Oh, oh no. Guys where where will we go to school now? Our school's now a crater in the ground. Xander. Everyone. Calm down. We will make it through this, surely Aster won't leave us hanging. We will probably just end up getting transferred to another academy. For now though, we'll need to hold on and wait for what Aster's decision is. So all we can do is wait. Elias is right. We should just wait for now and see what'll happen to us. But one thing's for sure. I'm not abandoning you guys. 